What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trinity Love and well, apparently there are new Ancient Gear cards that have been announced and will be released in the OCG in January. And I just had to talk about this because I have been begging for Ancient Gear support for some time. And of course I know most of you guys want some hero stuff. Don't worry, I've been working on some Yu-Gi-Oh! Day episodes uh, with this new format with Fire Kings and all that stuff. And uh, pretty much just gonna give you all advice on what we can do for this format. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about these ancient gears. So we are gonna start off talking about ancient gear, dark golem. Level eight earth machine effect, attack 3000, defense 3000. Pretty good. Um, this card's name becomes ancient gear golem while on the field or in the graveyard. If this card is normal or special summoned, thank God, because as y'all know, uh, Ancient Gear Golem cannot be special summoned, except, you know, by ignoring summoning conditions, which is pretty stupid. But now this card will basically just replace Golem. Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can activate this effect. You cannot set cards for the rest of the turn. I don't know why Ancient Gears do this, because they literally have sp trap cards and stuff. So it makes things like Imperm and... It just makes you not be able to set anything or floodgates for your opponent. So it's like, it makes it like the first thing you have to do, which is kind of dumb. So can't really expect to do any kind of like draw cards and to hope to see in your traps, especially if you want to set some kind of traps for your opponent. But I don't know why Ancient Gears do that effect. I think it's so stupid. I, I don't understand why we need that. But anyway, uh, you gotta set cards for this turn. Also, add up to two Ancient Gear cards and or Gear Town from your deck to your hand, except Ancient Gear Dark Golem. Then discard a card. Okay, um, I guess the discard a card is fair, because, I mean, you are adding two Ancient Gear cards. Like, you can literally just add Castle and uh, Catapult, and then that's just two Ancient Gear monsters for free. Add Fortress. The fact that it's Ancient Gear cards means spells and monsters. Extremely, extremely good. But the problem is just trying to get this thing onto the field. Also, if this card attacks, your opponent can activate spell and trap cards until the end of the damage step. Pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, Ancient Guild Tanker, level four, good, because the deck honestly needs more summons, but um, they need they need some kind of card effects that let them just special themselves for free. But anyway, if this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one Ancient Gear monster from your hand, except Ancient Gear Tanker. That's actually pretty good. Ignoring its summoning conditions, or if you control, or if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon it from your grave instead. That's actually pretty good. So that lets you just spit out Ancient Gear Golem, like the regular one, for free, which is actually pretty cool. Because that's like the only one you need that, I guess, Beast, but Beast is not really going to be an important card. Uh... You can target one face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do for the rest of the turn, all monsters you control that. Ancient Gear Golem, or mention it, gains 600 attack. This should have just been an Ancient Gear boost for the end of the turn, instead of just Golem, but nonetheless, pretty cool that you can just special one for free out of your hand, especially the fact that it ignores so many conditions, because, I mean, let's be honest, Golem is like the heart of the deck, and then the fact that you can't special summon it, is, they keep giving us more ignoring pretty pretty cool and the fact that it's a level four pretty awesome and now we've got ancient gear commander and it's kind of funny i like the art on this because it's supposed to basically look like crowler because if you can see the thing on the chest that's basically like crowler's dual disc and you know this is crowler's deck so anyway attack 500 defense 2000 level four uh you can send uh one ancient gear golem from your hand, deck, or face up field to the grave, immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon an ancient gear monster. Okay, so basically it gives you two normal summons, essentially. Uh, if you normal summon or special summon an ancient gear golem, you can special summon one ancient gear golem from your hand or graveyard, ignoring summoning conditions. Again, that's what the deck needs. If you normal or special summon an ancient gear golem, you can special summon one ancient gear golem from your hand or grave, ignoring summoning conditions, you can banish this card from your graveyard, Place one Ancient Gear Continuous Trap from your hand or face up onto your field. Okay, that's good. So now you don't have to set it. You just get to straight up activate it. Wow, good job. Good job, Konami. Because I'm sure you're starting to understand, hmm, there's traps for this deck. 
but we're making it to where they can't set that shit. So let's, uh, let's let them just place them face up on the field. Pretty interesting. And now we've got Ancient Gear Advance, a continuous spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. So basically, okay, so you can't have multiple copies. Uh, when this card resolves, you can add one Ancient Gear spell or trap from your deck to your hand, except Ancient Gear Advance. Which makes sense, because you can activate another one. Um, once per turn, you contribute one monster, so just a monster. Uh, draw a card, and if you do, until the end of this turn, you can normal summon uh, level 5 or higher monsters that are Ancient Gear, Golem, or mention it without tributing. That's actually really good. So you can basically just, like if your, if your Wyvern got negated, you activate this, discard, tribute it, draw a card, and then just special golem from your hand, and then uh, activate fusion, and then you just win. That's actually pretty crazy. Uh, Ancient Gear Advance is probably going to be one of the best support cards for this deck right now. And now we've got Ancient Gear Duel, and I really love the fact that it's Ancient Gear Ultimate Golem attacking, uh, I think that's what, it's not Flare Neos, but it's one of the hero monsters. Uh, continuous Trap Card. Uh, monsters you control that are Ancient Gear Golem or mention it, it's unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects. If your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon, ooh, if your opponent, that's why it's, it's, I'm glad that you can do that, because this deck relies on your opponent having monsters on the field, so it kind of makes sense. If your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one fusion monster that mentions Ancient Gear Golem from your extra deck by banishing materials mention it from your field and or grave, including Ancient Gear Golem you control. And if you do, it makes up to three attacks during each battle phase. Holy shit. So that makes Ancient Gear... That makes Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem actually worth a damn, along with uh, Megaton Golem. Because now it can attack three times and you don't have to make its ridiculous fusion requirements by having multiple ancient gear golems. That is actually pretty crazy. But that is all I wanted to talk about, you guys. Like I said, we're going to have more... Uh, I'm going to have some Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes and we're going to be talking about this format and what we can do with it with heroes. Uh, I've just been kind of busy and then just dealing with other stuff on the uh, meantime. But... Anyway, guys, this is going to be it. So if you enjoyed this video, please destroy that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button for me. And I'll see you guys.